Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at an exam question. OCR, A-level Maths A, pure Maths question. A-level, yeah. Again, OCR, A-level Maths A, pure Maths uh, June 2018 session, yeah. The question is number nine. Uh, before we... Uh, Look at the question, please uh, give this video a like and share as much as you can. And please follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. All right, let's come back to the question. The function f is defined for all real values of x as uh, fx equals to c plus 8x minus x squared, where c is a constant. Okay. And uh, in part one of the question, we are given that the range of f is f of x is less than or equal to 19. We are asked to find the value of c. Okay, that's fine. In part two, given instead that ff2 is 8, uh, we are dealing with composite functions here. Okay, we are asked to find the possible values of c. Okay, two parts. Let's uh, settle the first part first. Uh, we are given the range of this uh, quadratic function. So, Take note of the fact that this is minus x squared, okay, this is minus x squared, so your graph is going to be something like this, okay, a maximum point, s is immediately evident because we are told that the range of f is less than a number, so let's start with completing the squares, yeah, let's start with com completing the squares. So I've written it as minus x squared uh, plus 8x plus c, and then uh, I repeat, I am carrying out the process of completing the squares because what I want to do is I want to write it like this yeah a x plus h squared plus k okay okay so uh, once I do that I know that if a is less than zero then I have a maximum point curve with my coordinates minus h k okay and I know that for this curve my range will be less than or equals to k yeah okay that's the that's where we are heading so let's go ahead and do the completing the squares thingy first so i have minus um take another minus so i have x squared minus 8x minus c and then i'm looking at the coefficient of x is minus 8 so i divide by 2 so it becomes x minus 4 whole thing squared minus the square of this number which is uh 16 and then i have a minus c um bringing the minus inside so I have minus x minus 4 squared plus 16 plus c. So I look at this. I know straight away it will be like this. Okay. There will be a maximum point curve because of this negative. And then I have uh, 4. Okay. That's from here. And 16 plus c. Okay. That's from here. So my quadratic function here, it'll be less than or equals to 16 plus c. But in our case, they gave me 19. So 16 plus c is 19. So c is 3. And we are done. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Give this video a like and share as much as you can. Thank you for watching.